as long as you're operating within the purview of a desire, you are pushing yourself into a prison of your own making and then suffering. And then when the suffering comes, you blame everybody, including God, except come to terms with the fact that yes, I am the one who's put myself in the prison. And therefore, I am the only one who has the power to get myself out of this prison. So if you function with selfish desires, that's what he's been saying here, you go to hell and come back. But if you function with positive desires, it is still desire. Why are you unnecessarily going into now? In the name of spiritual development, in the name of uh, growth, in, in the belief that you're doing something good, all that you're doing is shifting from, uh, what is that called? Arthur Road Jail to a five-star jail. Does it make sense? So what he's saying is, for the same effort, if you can move out of the prison and enjoy the freedom, what Wordsworth calls as ethereal air, you know, even if you're living in a slum, it doesn't matter, as long as you're free. That freedom comes only when you move outside the periphery of desire, which means perform karyam karma, just do what you ought to do, 